more famous than Aisha? I don't know. I don't have the statistics. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ines and Ahmed. We're back with another video and this time we listened to your comments and that's why we're gonna do another react video. The first song is gonna be classic Rai music. It's like the most popular um, genre in Algeria. This is Sheb Mami. Sheb Mami? Yeah. Such a pretty violin. It's so you hear the people talking in the background. It's yeah. like an atmospheric sound mm -hmm. at the beginning. It sets the mood for the rest of the song, I think. Exactly. Let's see how it continues. Oh, okay. It's given me goosebumps. He has such urgency in his voice, you know what I mean? Like he really wants to get it out what he's saying. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what he's saying at all, but it feels like he's really passionate about it. You can see a mix of oriental and like the Parisian style of uh, the accordion. I don't know how it's called. You know. Right? I just wanted to say it sounds like you're sitting in a French cafe and showing a coffee. So Sheb Mami and Sheb Khalid, they have more of a modern Rai style. They like because most of that you um you had you their lives they spent in France, so they improved their musical okay. style with modern pop and stuff. That's why you hear like different vibes in the song. And it just keeps going. Like, is there a fade out? Probably. Yeah, it's fading out. Like he could he could go on um, forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So you like the song? Yeah. It's too... For me, it sounds like you chilling at a cafe and it's called like Petit France or something in the middle of Paris and <laughs> they play this music and you just chill outside, you know, with your cup of coffee, yeah, your cake or your croissant. No, croissant. croissant. Next. The next song. It's from an artist that's considered a legend in Algeria. A legend. A legend. He passed away like in the 90s and he left a lot of songs. He left a lot of songs that he didn't release? Or... No, no, no. He, Trust me, he used to release one tape in the morning, one tape in the afternoon. He had so much, so much, so much creativity oh, wow. coming out of his... I haven't released anything since May. Shep Hasni. Yeah. It's the story of love and suffering and patience with the partner of life. That's what it says. This is him. This is more of a classical Rai music with the rhythm, the instruments and the melodies. To me this sounds like a... Algerian like reggae a little bit yeah and although he's apparently singing about like like pain of being in love and stuff like that yeah it's still a danceable song well we'll see at the end which one was my favorite next next song was suggested in the comments we listen to you don't think that we don't see what you're writing there. It's not an original song of her, but it's a very old song. It's called Qum Tara. It means stand up to see. Oh. 
get up and see. I really admire her vocal control. I knew there was gonna be a choir. Yeah. So the second half of the song is like only the, the chorus melody repeats itself. It's almost the same melody repeated. Yeah, and she sings like the melody and mm -hmm. then there's an instrumental part that does the same melody. Exactly, yeah. And then there's the choir. <laughs> singing the same melody. Singing the same melody and yeah. then she like does kind of an outro thingy just her voice yeah it's a kind of a classical style i listen to this and i see people in like the 15th century or something <laughs> is it a yay or a nay for you it's uh i i really love that you put a woman in there um, <laughs> i really like that all right i'll ask you in the end which one's your favorite next the next oh, there's one and more. last song. Oh, there's one yeah. more. This next song has 150 million views and it's the most covered song, Algerian song. What about Aisha? Yeah, it's very legendary. But this one was the most famous one. More famous than Aisha? I don't know. I don't have the statistics. <laughs> The music video like looks like they just how they wrote the yeah. song. Yeah, it's like the most pop song and it's very like simple. It's acoustic just with, with you know, a couple mm -hmm. acoustic guitars and the yeah. same picking melody throughout the whole song. Just beautiful. The other songs, I didn't really notice the structure. The fact that you understood the structure of this song, it's because it's similar to pop music structures. The thing is, the other songs are all Algerian songs. You can't understand the structure behind the songs unless you understand the language. So I assume that this one is your favorite. The favorite one is the first one. Ooh. Because right. I think it, it was inspiring to me, even for my music. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I liked it the best. Mm. To be honest, me too. That's why I put it first, because I have a soft spot for Shep Mami. Good job, Shep Mami! Good job, Shep well Mami. Well done. I might, if you're on Spotify, I'm gonna follow you. Of course, it's on Spotify. Thank you guys for watching, yeah. and let us know if you want us to do this again, mm -hmm. or something else. Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and we will see you in the next video. I'll feed us in. It's love on. Hey.